So Pierce disease resistance breeding has been going on for several hundred years, and it really hasn't progressed very far because of the multigenic so, uh, nature of the resistance for most of the species. We were fortunate enough to find a resistance form that has a single gene, so that when we cross it to a, to a high quality vinifera wine grapes or table grapes or raisin grapes, uh, we, can, we can generate about half the population of seedlings that will be resistant each generation. So our goal has been to go through the generations as quickly as possible by selecting things with resistance uh, and then crossing them back to high quality vinifera. Selecting seedlings again, crossing them back to high quality vinifera. Selecting seedlings again with the markers back to high quality vinifera. And in that way we've been going through the generations in about two years uh, and, and now we're at 97% vinifera. Uh, so at this point we're now looking for high quality uh, fruit characteristics and wine characteristics knowing the plants will be resistant due to the markers and the tests we've done on them. So th this greenhouse houses mostly our, our seedlings and, pure, and uh, nematode testing material. We first pre-germinate these in petri plates, then we plant them individually once they sprout into, into seedling uh, uh, pots. These are tracked right through the whole process. So Samara will be has already run these for DNA. Uh, they've already been sampled and looked at. Uh, we now know which ones have resistance, so we can discard those without. And the ones with resistance, we're going to then greenhouse test and verify that their, their uh, PD resistance levels are as high as possible. Uh, those will then be put in the field, and they'll be evaluated for fruit quality. And the following year, in 2012, uh, about 50% or maybe a little bit more of these will actually start fruiting. So these are our first of our 97% vinifera. Uh, in the wine grape background that we have out here. And they all have PD resistance. We know they've all, all been tested for PD resistance. A good portion of them have been tested in the greenhouse as well. So we know they have the markers and a good portion have very low levels of Pierce disease. So the next step with these vines will be to verify they have good fruit, to assess them for cluster compactness, for berry flavor, for ripening dates, and we'll start taking the best of these and advancing them for, for wine testing and quality. Uh, at this point now, I think we're ready to release plant, plant material from these populations. So we have 2,000 seedlings here, and within this group we have new wine grape types with PD resistance. The future goals will be to incorporate powdery mildew resistance in with that, and to incorporate in broader ranges of resistance to PD in with that too, to ensure that they, they're more durable over a longer period of time. Uh, but we're hoping that we have the, uh, the answer to, to Pierce disease and we'll be able to use these grapes both as a varietal wine grapes and as blending grapes uh, where they're needed in, in severe PD areas.